my control points have disappeared from my HUD, which is a little bit lame, but uh, this is CP Gullywash, the third round of the Russian Night Cup. There is, I believe, only one more round after this. It is uh, Hoverhands versus... Oh, wait. Uh, it's uh, Unexist. Okay, gotcha. Unexist. So, Hoverhands in the blue, Unexist in the red, and uh, we're just going to see what happens here at the mid-fight. Hoverhands have run a heavy to mid, and I think they might be running a crits as well, which is uh, a little bit weird, but, you know, they ran crits last round, and it worked really well for them, so I think that's what they're going to do now. Yeah, Unexist are actually a uh, pretty established team. Like, they have been playing together for a few seasons now, so I might take back what I said about Hoverhands being the favorites for this one. Uh, Hands have key on the sniper now. I think last time around it was Kenzie going full time sniper, and this time it's uh, it's a different Merc, I guess. Uh, looks like the Uber has been popped here for our red team though, and they did get one kill. Rubicon actually was, uh, I guess, a little bit overextended there. No, I think that was a uh, nice force from Rubicon. Oh, the rest okay. of his team are just hanging back here. Oh, it isn't often you see a roaming heavy, but he did make it work. There's a soldier bombing in behind here. He gets air shot. That is the lag, the dead. And the crit streak is still in play right here. Don't even know if it's been oh. spotted yet, but they got this. Oh, that was a nice sticky trap there. That's going to shut down that crits pretty effectively. And Diego dies with the crits still in hand. So I don't know if he actually got a kill out of that. I can't tell because my kill feed is completely gone. But um, Unexist now pushing forward with uh, basically three against two here. Going to be five against three soon. Nice, uh, nice crossbow to hit Rubicon there, but he is still alive. Uh, yeah. Just I already did interesting. That. I already did that, and it didn't. Uh. <laughs> I can see the player icon, so at the very least, we can tell when people are alive or dead. But that's all I got, man. Okay, I guess you're just gonna have to live without a HUD then. I'll beat your eyes, man. Don't worry. Anyway, uh, I am joined, by the way, by Admirable. So this is Admirable. So everybody say hello. Hi. I'm pretty sure that was you, Admirable. Oh, that was me. Yep. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the Uber's ready to go here for Unexist. They're missing a player right now. Vadrigar just spawned on the sniper, but they are going to push through the choke anyway, and immediately flashing that Uber to uh, Soldier and Demo. They're trying to get in on top of the blue team, and uh, Trox decided to take that moment to jump in and spam a rocket and an invincible medic. Uh, that was kind of weird. Oh, yeah, nice kill did. here by Vadrigar. Taking down not only the sniper, but now that Scout as well. And he is probably going to get trapped a little bit in this, uh, no, not even trapped right now. Now, the, the Uber is popped here on a sickless for Hoverhands. They are pushing straight through this choke point, and they want to catch up with their opposing medic, but so far, no dice. I mean, if you're looking for players to watch out for on the Unexist side, it's definitely, <laughs> the scoreboard says it all, really. It's Vadrigar, DDK, and uh, Spick, because... Um, they're definitely the better known players, the more skilled players, more experienced players. Spick was actually previously banned for hacking in the ETFTL, although going by the ETFTL's anti-cheat system, I never really believed he did. But that's just my gut reaction, so he was officially <laughs> banned and he is unbanned now, he's served his sentence. But GDK is like a rising demo man, seriously hot property. He's just unbelievable damage output, especially for a non-premiership demo man, he is like unreal. Well, Diego's goes down to Beartech, and uh, in return, GDK killed as well. But no, it looks like a lot of death going on right now for our blue team. And I do finally have my HUD back, so I'm very happy to now be able to read the kill feed to all of you. Um, uh, lag, though, taken down, and Crawl sneaking around behind with six health. Nope, you can eat a rocket and die. So, I mean, these guys are just, once again, uh, very typical Russian style. They're just all up in each other's faces all the time. Rubicon playing that Roman heavy, but gets taken down by Spick. Got Vadrigar up top here as well. Playing quite a strange position. He was watching the lobby there because there were players behind him. Now he's watching the choke. Him and Enki trading sniper shots there, but neither really doing enough damage to earn themselves a kill. There is a scout behind. Beartag does go down. GDK picks up Trox and surfs up top. The Enki is playing close to that choke. Gets a nice hand shot onto Spick. Yeah, Vad's uh, watching the choke now as the sniper. He spots a scout coming out, misses that shot. And uh, I can't imagine him hitting the next one. Now, you, you could make me eat my words, but that scout there, nope. Uh, he did get a nice shot <laughs> on the heavy, but the heavy was overhealed, so he is actually still at full. That's the crazy bit. You quick scope headshot a heavy who's overhealed, and he's just like, no, now I'm at full health. I'm not overhealed anymore, but it's just like I'm not even hurt. Hit him three, wacky. four times in a row, maybe. Totally wacky. 
Um, and right now, of course, Rubicon did take a lot of spam, so he is quite hurt, but he's going to go grab that uh, nice 50% health pack, get back up to full health once again, and, and that is such a scary sight to have a full health uber-charged heavy rushing into that last point. Uh, we do have some sticks going down to the point as well from the blue demo, and it's looking pretty good so far for Team Hoverhands. They've gotten all the kills there, and so can walk onto the point for free and cap it 1-0. to Don't exist, just losing too many players over a sort of long period of time, they kept losing one player, then another, then another. And they only really had three players allowed there when that push started. Three did spawn, but like, that's a textbook push right there from Hoverhand, straight in from that right side, right on top of him, getting good position and getting the kills. I love it, Sal. Yeah, we do have, uh... Oof, Diego's eating a lot of spam here. Nine health, and a lot of his team is very hurt as well. So this mid-fight, so far, looking very good for our red team. But they are eating a lot of minigun fire here from Rubicon. Jumping down, trying to get the kill on the medic. Can't quite do it. So it's only 3v5 right now. And uh, pretty soon, the heal advantage is going to go strongly in favor of our red team. Yeah, that must have been the wake-up call right there for Unexist. They are kicking up a notch. Pushing right through here. They're going to cap this. They're sending soldiers up top. Make sure they don't get flanked there, but Enki does get a headshot onto and a second the lag one. <laughs> oh man, this guy's on fire. Yeah, lag just uh, ate it there. Making him look silly right there. And that's headshot, then body shot, body shot. 2K for Enki. He's gotten uh, an SMG kill now as well. He's gonna have to run back and get some heals from the cabinet. Maybe even swap out class. He's back over to spy now. Uh, and what was Sickless doing out there? You tell me. Apparently, just dying. Really dangerous game here. Yeah, they're trying to get some players behind and push out just to buy time, I guess, but they end up uh, overextending. Three down. Although Crawl has respawned right now. Don't exist would be wise to push right now, but they're going to wait until everyone's respawned. I guess yeah. they like a fair fight. I suppose they did, of course, allow Rubicon to spawn on the heavy again. He seems to be wanting to run full time heavy. It's a thing you can do on Gully Wash because the distance uh, between all these points is so short. And also the lines of sight, it's a very open map, there's some great lines of sight once you get yourself up on that high ground, especially in the middle, like you're really, really hard to take down a heavy. Need some solid teamwork, we do have a sniper here again, of course it is Enki, four hover hands, he's watching at uh, Riverside, where the combo is trying to push down, crawl and they on know the sniper it. As well. Wait. No, it's, it's Crawl on the sniper, not Enki. What are you talking about, man? You were confusing uh. rapidly. Enki <laughs> was uh, looking downstairs in the water as the scout right now. He did spot a scout sneaking down there. So, Oh, he's found him. Craziness. Sorry about that. I, I did intend to say a little bit more about it, but then I had to sneeze. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you got to do what you got to do. It is Spick versus Crawl on the point right now, and uh, Spick could not find Crawl. It was too late, so it was a good defense there by our little scout. Big switch to shotgun, but I heard that click sound. I think it was empty, man. That's got to be heartbreaking right there. Uh-oh. Uber advantage crits. here. Yeah, crits coming out of uh, Blade right now. So, unexist looking pretty darn solid. And that's exactly what you need to do against this heavy setup. you got to try and pick him off, do as much damage as possible. They've got Sniper, they've got Crits Krieg. I fancy their chances for this one, but we've seen them feel a few pushes already. Well, you know, they've gotten a lot of shots on goal so far, and uh, Unexist, they just want to tie this game up, keep themselves in the running for winning that $100 prize at the end of the rainbow. Uh, and here goes the Crits right now, no kills yet for it. And it looks like everybody's pretty much scattered. Rubicon and Trox actually get taken down, though, and so that's already Three, now two down. Crawl did just respawn. Uh, but the medic doing what he can to try and defend this really uh, was not going to get that uber up, and so that's going to be it. I think Unexist has the Sickless point. might have something to say about that. Oh, big triple kill. Oh. Uh, it's not going to matter, though. Two health left. Cannot stop Bertek. Just a tiny bit too late. Bertek caps the point. Sickless was just playing over on that riverside the whole time. And the rest of his team were dying to that push. Yeah, he just, he managed to kill the, as up was the number there, GDK, but then he came in and got that triple kill. He put that in the frag maybe, but he probably cut out the part where he lost the point. <laughs> We've got uh, N key sitting here and looking down the sides of the point. Right now, Diz get a headshot there on a jumping soldier lag. Looking like he's pretty hurt right now. And uh, Diego's first man to die though, so 
This is what happens when your uh, sniper play doesn't really pay off. If you can't get like wicked headshots every single time, you're just not dealing as much damage as you would with uh, a scout or a soldier. And there you go, our red team is going to end up pushing because of that. Uh, absolutely, it's a tactic that, that is very susceptible to aggression. If you don't hit your shots and they only give you a few seconds to hit them, you're in trouble. You be dead. Yeah, well that's that's what happened to our blue team. Uh, hover hands may end up going down around here, and GDK immediately gets a kill on Diego. It's gonna look for uh, there you go, getting a second one on Trox. He tried to jump in, and uh, looks like Vertex down, but that's the only man dead so far. Uh, Rubicon eating a bit of damage, but yeah, he is down as well. It is 4v2 now. Scout here on the point trying to defend it, and there is a demo behind, but that is not enough. So wow, unexist, looking solid. GDK, my boy, going huge right there. Put out those crit stickies, picking up three kills, I think. Beautiful. I'm just gonna watch the sickless cam for a little while. Um, I'm wondering why he's called a sickless, by the way. Does that mean he just never gets sick, or uh, I mean that'd be a pretty cool like superpower to have. <laughs> sickless man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all those stickies on the point. Lag ate a whole bunch of them as he tried to jump up. I was really well placed by sickless, so uh, already this guy's paying for himself. Um, and it looks like Diego's down though, so they're not going to be too happy about that. The heal advantage won't matter so much as the rest of Unexist has now died, except for GDK, who is uh, in a little bit of trouble. Takes down Trox, actually, for covering his retreat through the chokes. And no, he's not retreating at all. You're kidding me. This guy is going insane. Oh, what a ninja. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not going to pay off anymore, though, as Cyclus finally spots him out. And that's going to be that. Unexist running the Kritzkrieg now to try and maintain a little bit of advantage. Let's see what Diego's is running. Regular Medigun. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Probably wasn't uh, the most wise move from TDK right there, you know? He doesn't recognize the responsibility of the demo man to stay alive. And <laughs> my team is surely going to have a lot of difficulty defending this. They are two down right now. Enki goes down as well, though, to equalize the player counts right here. Overhands are getting that height advantage though. They're slightly overextended here. Yeah, it's going to be really important if GDK and his medic can both stay alive. And GDK needs to reload right now. It's too late. They've already Chris popped the crits. Right. And he's going to miss with these stickies. He doesn't have enough reloaded. But they do at least force Diego's away from the rest of his team. So as uh, as the rest of the blue team kind of fell out through the choke, Diego's was stuck away and uh, ended up dying. Trox now dying as well. Uh, gets a little bit caught out of position. And Rubicon, in turn, decides that he's still going to hold down this choke very effectively until Vad sneaks up behind. Oh man, this action is just all over the place in these Russian games, dude. They just, they never stop being aggressive. Yeah, tough spot there for um, the Unexist Medic. It's, or, mm, what's going on here? Back cap on Axie right now. That is Enki really drawing the back there, almost capping the point, in fact. And he is going to get chased out of CP4. Yeah, but, but uh, GDK uh, was trying to, I, once again, it was just severely overextended and was trying to... Oh, here comes a crit Krieg! And that didn't do a heck of a lot. They killed Tro Trox with it, but uh, Blade died, so the crit Krieg was prematurely ended there. And now uh, both the red soldiers chasing in after the blue combo. Not going to work too well for him as Rubicon gets a 2k there. Vad coming in to take out Crawl, and Vad is a pretty beastly scout, but uh, may not be enough here. Woo! Check out the hit points on Diego, it's both scouts in there really running the distraction game on Rubicon. He was looking at one, the other one came in and popped off two onto Diego and he escapes with 14 HP, so close. Yeah, but he is okay now, did grab that health kit and he's going to help his team push in. Here comes the Uber, his team took a bit too much damage walking in through this choke point. Uh, Trox is just going to start trying to screen for the rest of his team as they walk onto the second point. And Blade is up about 50-55% right now, so not going to be able to push out with an Uber anytime soon. Uh, plus, there's going to be Stickies hopefully on that doorway. Cyclus eating a lot of damage, though. And where is the Medic? He needs to get on this guy, but he can't. Cyclus is now stuck behind here, and this isn't even the side with the Rubber Ducky, so uh, he's, he's got nothing to look at. Trog's trying to make a play for last right there, but he gets oh, scatter shots between the shoulder blades from Vadrigar. The whole team goes back to try and block it, but they have the crits creep right now, and they're going to be pushing up here. Cyclist sitting at a sweet height advantage, he's going to do a lot of damage right here to GDK and his medic blade goes down. That's how you deal with crits right there. Yeah, so uh, that, that would be textbook walking into a sticky trap as a way to uh, fail a crits creek. It's chapter 5, section A. 
Yeah, that's the thing about crits, if you know it's coming, it's, it's quite easy to handle, just focus a lot of damage onto that combo. You really need some sort of distraction from your teammates. That didn't happen, they just tried to walk out the door and crits them. And Cyclist was wise to the game. And we do have our red team pushing out to the midpoint once again. Uh, right now it is 2-1 in favor of red, that is unexist. With Fadrigar murking, I believe, because he's not tagged up like the rest of them. Uh, and Hoverhand's in a little bit of trouble here. They've got an uber disadvantage, and uh, oh, they've got Enki running in behind, though, trying to take down the medic. Can he do it? He's one more shot away. Yes! He does take down Blade. Damn! That Crits Creek is not going to get popped anytime soon. And look at this. It's uh, Crits Creek also from Diego's right here. I want to see him crits that heavy. I just, that's what I want to happen. But of course he needs to get the heavy. That's the problem with this. He has to get the heavy in position to deal the damage. And it looks like actually Vad may have just hit a body shot there on Diego. It's not fully charged, but just enough for Bertek to come in and finish him off. And Rubicon now in some trouble as well. Yeah, total tunnel vision there from Rubicon. All he could think about was that sniper, that sniper, that sniper. Sky comes in from the flank and takes out his medic! And now he's running away, crying like a little girl, so... Yeah, uh, there, there, there is a voice command for that, but I'm not even going to attempt to replicate it. That's <laughs> <laughs> close enough. I think everybody knows what we're talking about. Uh, Unexist, though. Once again, it looks like they want to make a uh, play for second. Give themselves a bigger lead than they had before. And Spick already upstairs. Uh, he spotted that scout who tried to run away and actually did a pretty good job of dodging those rockets, which uh, I would not have dodged at all. Your dodging game isn't up to much, bro, no? I what? Dodging game isn't up to much. Um, not not a lot of my game is up to much. Just have to press A, then D, then A, then D. <laughs> repeat, <laughs> repeat, repeat. Seems like it seems like people uh, people figure that out about me. Uh, anyway, we oh I thought we had a pause there, but it looks like Blade is ready to push his team in with an Uber regular old invulnerable shiny player Uber now. They are pushing in with that and uh, are going to be able to deal a lot of damage unreturned. They haven't quite killed the medic yet, but Diego's one health. There he goes. And this is going to end up being 3-1 to one here pretty soon. That's it. Unexists now taking it 3-1. to one. Uh, How much time is left in the game? 12 and a half minutes. So this is anybody's game still. Now, will uh, Hoverhand stick to their heavy rollout? Or will they just throw out the window? Are they going to stick to their guns? They do run a heavy this, this round, but if they lose the next one, I wonder will they change things up on middle? Probably want to... Um, because, I mean, you, you know, having a soldier out there, it's a pretty neat thing, I gotta say. Uh, having two soldiers, even better. So, Vadrigar, first man to die there from a, uh, a sticky, I believe. And now wow, Blade and the... getting a little bit of pressure with his demo man. GDK looking hurt. Uh, Blade goes for the crossbow shot, now popped up into the air. I think he actually hit one there on that demo. Let me just see. Is Does the demo have a crossbow sticking out of him? No, actually, I don't think he does. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, Chris so is ready for here. Diego's. Rubicon eats a headshot there from Vadrigar, but takes him down at that sort of range. Maybe he just caught it in his teeth. <laughs> That's what that umbrella hat is for, it just deflects them. Pew! <laughs> man, Green bullets out there, man. Hat. I used to have one, well, really? I'm sure I bought many. At, uh, you always get them at festivals and stuff, you know, music festivals, especially in Ireland because it's so wet. Oh, wow. But, okay. uh, I've never seen those for sale at my music festivals. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Ziggler's coming in with the uh, crits and immediately takes down Vad. Uh, that's the only kill so far. Spick tries to jump in and, and uh, kill that medic, and that doesn't work either. So now there's two players down for our red team. Uh, but actually, it's three versus three at the moment. With the red team having to back up onto their point, that's a scary position to be in. Uh, a nice little Uber saw hit. And Boom. he does manage to take him down. That's a full Uber, and he ends up dropping it anyway. Bertek just barely holding on to that point with Vadrigar. Yeah, picked up three Uber saws in a row there on two different players. Got to watch out for those uh, blood diseases, man. You need to sterilize that saw after each hit, surely. Got to watch out it's for just... Rubicon on the spy. Um, doing a very good job so far of dodging all that spam, but he's about to run out of cloak, and he might have actually wanted to go inside that... Uh, oh, yeah, he got figured out. He might have wanted to go inside the base there instead of uh, staying outside instead. Nope. I'm just getting a message here from Commander X. The guy I'm supposed to be playing with. Let me talk to him. Over to you, Sal. Sure thing. Uh, I will. I will take over all of the casting duties. This is uh, lag, of course, peering through the choke point right now. 
doing his very best just to spam it out and make sure that blue team knows they can't push through anytime soon. He's actually clearing the way for GDK to walk in and lay a couple of long-range stickies through the points. Um, no uber advantage for our red team, though, and I'm kind of surprised, actually, that our blue team is not playing a little bit further forward with their 100%. Uh, here they come right now. And is that a... Oh, that was a Kritzkrieg. I thought I saw an invincible player there. Wow, okay. Uh, weird. <laughs> but anyway, there goes the uber for Blade, keeping himself from taking any damage from those sticks. Uh, and that is going to be Sickless getting taken down. Sickless apparently streaming his his game on owned.tv slash live slash 33015. So hey, go check out the VODs from that. Or I mean, if, you know, if you're watching this live, of course, do... Uh, do check it out right now. And uh, GDK gets a nice little uh, spawn camp there on Crawl. So now we're seeing that uh, he's actually in. Wow, nice pipe air shot there on Trox. Very good prediction. So that's going to be two players down for the red team. And this is looking really, really good for Unexist. They could end up taking this round and practically putting the game away. Okay, so I'm going to have to say my goodbyes. I am a man of my word. I did promise to play with these guys. So maybe I can join you later. But I think I'm gonna say it's a comeback for his hover hands here, man. You know that's my final my final word of the game. But good luck to you, and I'll talk to you later, dude. I'm gonna hold you to that, and if you get that prediction wrong, that's uh, that's on you, dude. But as it is, thank you, Admirable, for casting. It's been awesome. Uh, we will probably have another co-caster coming in pretty soon. But uh, right now, Unexist making a push in here, and it is utterly failing. They've lost their medic, they've lost most of their players. GDK gonna have to drop out and uh, try to get away from this. He laid a little sticky trap on the wall, probably not going to get a heck of a lot with that. And now needs to lay it on the doorway. Just get away, and he can't even do that. Crawl takes him down. So let's see here. I do have players talking to me about co-casting, which is always awesome. And there you go. Unexist, not able to put the game away yet. It is uh, eight minutes left to go here. That's four minutes per capture for our blue team to tie it up, and that's plenty of time. Uh, Drox pushing around, doing the roaming soldier thing around the right-hand side through this garage, and his scouts are actually doing a pretty good job, too. Sickless using the drop-down this time around, unlike uh, GDK last time. And he jumps in, goes for some big damage on the red team. Doesn't get a heck of a lot, though. At least he didn't die, and he did manage to press back the unexist team considerably away from the middle points. Uh, Lag was actually caught out in that little uh, ramp room, I guess, and he is now down. Rubicon, not really thinking that he wants to rocket jump right now, but the team Unexist is down three players once again. They still have their medic left alive. Uh, Enki managed to kill Diegos there before... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's the other way around. Enki killed somebody else. My bad. Diegos is down, though. So the medic for our blue team. Uh, not going to be able to counter this Uber. And the Uber should be able to stop the second point, temporarily at least. GDK gets a nice kill on Rubicon, but he's got to watch out for these stickies from his opponent. Cyclist gets taken down by a rocket from Lag. And now Unexist, uh, still in a decent position to defend a second. They kill Enki as well. Yeah, they could probably push with this. A 6 versus 3 advantage. Let me just see here uh, if my good friend wants to come cast with me. So far, the answer is he isn't. But whatever. Give me info anyway. And Blade now trying his very best to keep his players overhealed as they cap the middle point. Uh, it's always a little bit scary running around in that very narrow area because you know that if you're capping it, standing down there as a medic, you're probably going to take some splash damage from a rocket just hitting the side of that wall. But uh, yes, we do have another co-caster on the way. So we're going to switch co-casters midstream, switch horses in the middle of a war, which people say you shouldn't do. But you know what? It's going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be Kuhn coming in from Kuhn TV to help us cast the rest of this game and hopefully the finals as well. Uh, Blade's got an Uber right now, and he's going to be pushing his team in through the lower doors here very quickly. Uh, and pretty much, even though Spick has gone down, they are still going to push this. Enki's down as well. Crawl eats the dust. And now... Uh, D Blade here, standing on the point with the rest of his team. I mean, we had Cyclus and Rubicon alive, but it didn't even matter. They weren't in a position to defend the point. So that's now four to one in favor of Unexist, who they was looking a little bit closer. Actually, I thought maybe they were going to lose this game, but now uh, Hover Hands are just in a position that uh, something is going on in my ears right now. There was like this weird ringing, but it only came from a certain direction. Anyway, uh, Unexist, I think we'll be moving on to the next round of this tournament. Uh, hover hands are going to have to have some perfect rounds here, just just like their opponents last time around. Uh, hover hands are going to need perfect rounds to win this. They've taken out GDK and lag, so so far, I mean, so good. Uh, they need to knock out Blade as well to stop that Uber from defending the second point, though. 
and they haven't done it yet, so they will get mid. They might get second with their player advantage, but can they get last is the question. Nice little uh, body shot there by Enki. To, I think it was Madrigar who was peering out there. Yeah, knocked him down a little bit. And here comes the Uber, immediately coming out to try and pop the Uber from our blue team and defend the second point. And oh, what an air shot from Trox. He's going to try and knock down this soldier over here as well. Maybe get a little two-kill streak going on. But no, actually, Sickless comes in and steals it. Finishes off Spick with a pipe. Uh, but anyway, it's 5 on 3 right now, and our red team is way overextended here. So, hello, Kuhn. How you doing? Hello, hello. I'm, uh, I'm good. We do have the Russian Night Cup right now, and Trox already on the last point, getting some good capture time down. So, uh, this, is, this is getting to be a little bit of a closer game here, as long as our blue team can win this, which it looks like they can. They've gotten a bunch of nice kills. It's 4 versus 3 now. Rubicon taking down a scout, so they ought to be able to get onto that last point. That's exactly what Rubicon is doing. A nice kill on GDK. He's gotten two kills so far, and uh, Kral finishes off bad after the round. Uh, Kuhn, are you in the STV? Uh, I'm joining right now, so nice. give me 10 seconds. So, uh, it is currently 2-4 to four in favor of Unexist with, like, four minutes left. So it's, uh, hover hands really have their work cut out for them here. Hover hands in the blue, Unexist in the red. And Crawl standing up there trying to get some capture time, but, I mean, we basically need perfect rounds out of our blue team. So far, so good! They've actually wiped out a bunch of players here at mid. GDK trying to get some kills, but, uh, nothing coming out of it yet. And he and the Soldier and Medic are going to back up to second once again. Are they running a crit spree? Yes, they are. Watch out for this, Blue. They do manage to take down GDK, so no crit stickies. No Medic anymore for Red either. Oh, this is not going well for Unexist at all. Not going well for my okay. stomach either. I am... Dude, my stomach is rumbling right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, I just joined the game. Uh, they're going in with the Uber on the last point. Uh, w those two teams, I don't really know who they are. It's just like... I know um, the l blue team is not really uh, an actual team, right? I know it's a land team. Yeah, I think they might be like land teams. Uh, this is just a Russian night cup that they put together teams for. Uh, they are competing for a hundred dollar prize at the end of it, and Hoverhands looking like they could make the comeback and bring this to like a golden cap. Or uh, let's see how much time is left. Two minutes, maybe even win it if they're fast enough. It's definitely possible. Uh, also, yeah, Gully is really a map. Um, once you lose uh, your players and you're forced back to the second point, you'll probably lose the second point as well. So um, if they play it out really well, which they're not really doing right now, they lost two soldiers and a sniper. Um, it's a three versus four situation. Um, I think... Are they still running quits? Crits? No, Blade has a 20% yeah, Uber it, so... Oh, okay, so that's actually going to work really well in favor of Unexist. Uh, Sickless does get a nice little sticky trap there on Blade, though. He actually took him down. Nice, so that's at least going to give the uber advantage to blue. They're still holding on to this game, just barely. Yeah, but they really need to push in once they have the uber. Um, I think the soldiers are almost there to help them out. Scout is coming in. It's down. Well, um, yeah, they're waiting for the soldiers now to push in. Uh, maybe they shouldn't, should already push in. They have some... They really need to get this time in. There are people behind them as well. Demos on them. Force the uber, which is really well played, because now they can't use it for the second point. Uh, for the middle point, excuse me. Oh, they were actually on the red side. So they were trapped at the other side. Wait. You're, you're they what? The medic and the demo one was trapped at the second point with that I on choke. I totally missed that. Yeah, me wow. too. I just found out. It's like, where are the soldiers coming <laughs> from? It's like, and then it's like, oh, wait. They're on the other side. Wow, that was wacky. I'm surprised they didn't get flanked because they were only looking towards mid. They were never like looking behind themselves. But there goes Diego. gets taken down by Burtek. That guy finally paying for himself uh, two times over. And Rubicon can't take him out either. Got down to 10 health there. Down. Yeah, six is down. It's the demo went down for blue as well. One minute left. Um, if, oh, the crits are out from the red team. And uh, just one player alive. It's a scout. I don't know where he is. Let me. He's actually on loss. Crit oh. sticky in his face and he's down. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I hope Diego is uh, using crits right now. I can't even see it. Yeah, they have, uh, they have one more shot here to tie this up. This push is it. How much time is left? 42 seconds. So there is enough time to get the Uber up, push in, get some time on the point. GDK trying to lay down a sticky trap, but he did get spotted doing that, so this one will not be effective. Yeah, they're not really building that hard as well. They're, they're slightly building, but not full power, and they really need it. It's 30 seconds left, 90% Uber. Uh, they're all coming in from Riverside. I don't know where the second soldier is right now. He's actually waiting in the door, probably causing some distraction from the door. Where no sticky in, so he's gonna jump now. Great, sticky's uh, Rubicon shooting the medic as well. If they can focus the heavy down now, which is really weak. 
Uh, oh, he's so weak. Just get the heavy. Okay, they're gonna win this round after smart. If they're smart. All they gotta deal with three players smart. here. Oh, the demo that clutched it. Oh, the scan's coming as well. Medic, are you gonna be the hero? Are you gonna be no. the hero? No, the scout Where is the Trox? Hero. No, oh he's nowhere God. to be seen. Wow. What a close game. That came down to the last seconds there. Medic trying to get that capture, but it is unexist. Moving yeah. on to the next round. This has been Salamancer. I was joined earlier by Admirable, and Kuhn came in to save the day after Admirable yeah, had to leave. Buddy. So we do have another game coming up for you guys pretty soon. Do stay tuned.